Imagine looking at the layout of the balls after the break and just knowing that all you have to do is get the cue ball back to center table after the shot on every single shot. Well, it happens all the time. It's just that most players never catch on to it. They never, they, they never see it. They're always trying to overcomplicate things and see the difficult way, and then they talk themselves out of it again. there was an easier way to do things than the way you're currently doing it, would you want to hear about it? I've talked about the center table strategy several times on this channel, but the videos never really did very good. So after this video, I'm just going to shut it up and keep it all secret. No, I'm kidding. Other people have talked about it too, but, you know, their stuff didn't get much attention either. I don't know what it is. Chris Mellon is a master at this strategy, by the way. That's just a passing thought. Let's get on with it. This entire rack that I'm playing right here and now can be accomplished by getting the cue ball back to the center of the table. And what you're looking for is no balls on or near the end rows, or the short rows as some people like to call them. It happens, and it happens a lot more than you think. You just, you just didn't pick up on it. And once you see it, ask yourself if this is a center table rack, and then see every shot from center table, and if the answer is yes, then go for it. And I guarantee you'll be shocked and surprised at how easy the game of pool just became. And another thing I've repeatedly talked about on this channel is that we ourselves are our toughest opponents. But we can overcome ourselves and our weird need to complicate everything. It's time. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you on the next video. I'm going to be publishing more videos in the coming weeks.